Hi everyone, Rainy Bastarash here with whyamigreen.com and today we're going to be doing some magic. I'm going to show you how I can make soil mysteriously multiply itself. What we're going to be using is this product I've never tried before and I'm going to be demonstrating it for you. It's a expanded soil concentrated potting mix. Basically, it's cocoa choir. Uh, or cocoa husk, I guess you could say, but it's concentrated into this really hard block, almost like a piece of wood. And the whole thing only weighs about a little over eight pounds, eight and a quarter pounds. And it's supposed to expand like crazy. Look at this in the, in the picture. It starts out just a little bitty thing over there. You pour water and you get all this soil. And it can be planted just like that, but when I use it later on, I'll be mixing it with uh, potting mix as well. So, a regular potting soil. So, let's go ahead and do it and see how it works. And before we do, let me go ahead and read some of these instructions to you. And where are they? There are some instructions, and it's on the other side. And we're going to go ahead and read this very quickly for you. Ready? Directions. Combine expanded soil or concentrated potting mix with approximately 4.3 to 3 gallons or 16 liters of water until the compressed growing mix is fully expanded. Use slightly warm water for more rapid expansion. Break up and remove any pieces by hand. So you would mix it into your soil for improving growing results or use a standalone, standalone, standalone growing medium. Expanding soil concentrated potting mix will fill 10 inch, will fill 12 10 inch hanger baskets. So that sounds good. So to put a quick story slow, you mix this with four and a quarter gallons of water. So let's go ahead and try it. Okay, so here we are at the mixing station. Hopefully you'll be able to see this well enough. I'm taking the cocoa choir, putting it in here. And let's see, I'm going to cut it open. And once we cut it open, I'm just going to use the video tape and I'm doing it my, by myself here. So hopefully you'll be able to see good enough. Yeah, ooh, a couple layers of paper here, so... <laughs> ooh, plastic, plastic, plastic. All this biodegradable stuff covered in plastic. So let's get all this plastic on. And, so it said about four and a half gallons of water, so I'm going to put that there. And I've got some water. Here's two gallons. I'm going to go ahead and pour it right on there. So oh, four and a quarter. So there's two. And let's see, that's about three. So let us wait and see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and try to break it up a bit if we can. Oops. It's actually solid as a rock. So just so you can see what's going on in here. Whoa! And nothing's happening. Give you a close up view. Whoa. So we're going to give it a few minutes and then come on back and show you if anything has happened. I might have to submerse the whole thing in water. I'm not sure yet because it's still solid as could be. Well, there you have it. It's pretty much all taken apart. All in apart and it probably went maybe three to four times uh, as much as what I what it was before. Um, you can see it nice rich cocoa soil. It actually took Oh, a good probably half hour for it to absorb. So one thing I would suggest if you were going to do this instead of putting it in a shallow container like this is to put it in something that you can completely cover it in so it can get all wet all at once. So it probably would have been better off to put it in like a, a bucket big enough to hold it so it could uh, disintegrate even more or a large bucket. So I will be mixing this with soil later on this afternoon and uh, hopefully this will be a, a great product to use. The whole idea is it holds 
an awful lot of water so it'll help the plants to retain water even in the dry times this summer so if you decide you want to use this product you know how to do it now thanks for watching and remember if you're not growing you're not green bye bye